Okay, the movement bench running um, for over a day on this clock, so uh, I put it back in the case. The uh, I'm going to show you the hardest part because it's so small. It was hard to get the uh, clips that hold the movement in in this corner, so I had to take the bell off. Putting the bell back on was the hard, hard part. And doing so, I should have taken the suspension spring off, but I broke it. But I still have others. And remember, I was telling you that this particular suspension spring has the hole in the bottom. So, so the uh, pendulum leader um, can go in there, uh, hook in there. So that's what I'm fixing to do now is put this back in. So uh, stand by. So I have the uh, suspension spring on and the pendulum. And so uh, um, I wanted to show you that the bottom three clips that hold the movement in. Let me get something to point with. This one, this one, and this one. Remember at the beginning, plus there's the one up up here, and then the one in the corner behind the bell. Remember at the beginning, I showed you that these were broken out. So I was able to fix that. And uh, again, I got this clock. For one, I had to pay in shipping. Goodwill refunded me what I paid them every penny. So I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It is a small clock. Smaller than what I thought it was going to be. But it has the uh, calendar on it. So now I'm going to uh, put the hands on, put the weights on, and... Uh, let it run again before I put the clips on the chain. She has the moon dial on it. Sorry, not a calendar, but a moon dial. So um, I really love the clock. John Warmink, even though it is small, and I have to get some finials for it. But uh, let me uh, set it up. And uh, we'll get back to you. I do want to mention the uh, wire here that holds the uh, the snail onto the uh, uh, minute pinion. It has to be crimped enough to allow the hour hand to fit over it. So... Uh, if it's sticking out, the hour hand won't fit over it onto the shaft. And there we have it, ticking away on the stand. I need to adjust the bell. I just got through adjusting it, but it's not hitting now. So let me adjust it. Also have to do some uh, woodwork on the side. I'm gonna have to look at my pictures, but I didn't realize that this was broken. But 
it don't matter I got the clock for for the price of shipping so uh, please let me know what y'all think of this video and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and God bless and I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and a very happy new year God bless